Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 4. And on this part right here, we're gonna be doing a crazy part. This is actually Francis' final mission. So remember how I told you Francis would come back later in the game? And this is probably the hardest decision that we're gonna have in the game. Blood Brothers. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No, he's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! We'll tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. A cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. So, you guys heard it right there. Francis wants uh, Nico to kill Derek. Because he feels like Derek is gonna ruin his life because he's trying to become commissioner of police. Oh, we got a phone call from Derek. Nico, thank fuck you, Ed. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery. Shit! Look after me, Nico. So you see right there, um... Derek is onto of Francis. Derek knows that Francis is gonna try to have him killed, and he's telling Nico, kill Francis. So this right now is, um, this is one of the craziest choices that we're gonna have in the game, coming up here. And I didn't see this coming. The first time that I was playing, I didn't see it coming. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice. Neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his place. I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss Nico. You might hit me. Oh, we wouldn't I'll want that. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Calculate I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. The way that Nico says it, without saying that he's gonna hit Derek. And the thing about it is, um, uh, you notice how Francis just says, um, uh, don't miss Nico. You might hit me. And Nico also says, says one McCreary brother is trying to get me to kill the other one. And he doesn't. And Francis thinks that he's talking about him.
calculating route. You have arrived. Use the winning window cleaning platform, okay. And this is like, you know, where GTA 4 gets pretty dark. You know, this is exactly what GTA 5 was missing. Stuff like this, moments like this. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself. Real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. So Francis is full of it. Take out Derek or Francis when ready. So now we have to decide. Who are we going to kill on this? Do we kill the corrupt cop who thinks he can play God, be judge, jury, and executioner? Or do we kill the former um, IRA member who's also a rat? You know, which one? Because this is, um, uh, this is not an easy choice to make. You know, in, um, in, uh, in earlier in the game when we had the choice Playboy or Dwayne, that was an easy choice to make. This is the, I think this is the hardest decision to make in the game. This is this one right here. Well, let me show you guys something. You can actually call Francis... And when you call Francis, he'll actually pick up the phone down there. Look, watch. Just a second here, Derek. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? Select yes to increase your fee. That might help. All right, then. Call it a bonus. Make this happen. So if you actually do that, Francis will actually pay you more for this mission. But the thing is, though, is I, I think I finally made up my mind. You know who's going to go? Francis is going to go. And the reason that Francis is going to go is because, for one, he threatened Nico. Derek is actually um, uh, admits to who he is, unlike Francis, who acts like he's a good guy, but in reality, he's a corrupt monster. So I think Francis is going to go. And, and Francis seems like he's the guy that could do more damage over the long run than Derek. So Francis is going. Goodbye, Francis. <laughs> Derek just walks away like nothing. If you actually kill Derek, then um, what will happen is Francis will actually um, uh, Francis will actually say, "Oh no, Derek, my brother." I think I actually might have that scene playing right now. So this is what happens if you um, if you kill um, Derek. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? And this is what happens if you say no. It's not the money. I just don't feel right. Then start feeling right. I got you by the balls here. Don't you forget about that. Officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area. Derek, shit, he's my brother. So that shows you right there just how much of a terrible person Francis is. But let's move on to my play for which I'll be kill killing Francis on. So as you guys saw from that other scene, um, I'm going with killing Francis. That's what I'm going with on my playthrough. But I just wanted to show you guys what happens if you shoot Derek also. But um, this is actually going to trigger a different mission. So you're going to have a mission with the funeral of either Derek or Francis on the next part. Now, we didn't get any kind of reward for that. We, um, oh, Derek. Let's call him. Shit, you did it. Both the lighting from out of the fucking blue. I really got the feeling it was him and me back there. You don't know the half. Last bit of juice I got on the thing. You don't know the half of it. So, um, 
Derek knows that Nico killed Francis, and th and the thing about this is, um, I know what some people in the comments are gonna say. Some people in the comments are gonna say you should have killed, um, you should have killed Derek because then Francis will remove cops. Francis will remove a three-star wanted level for you. Um, he will he will do that, but he won't do that after on when you beat the game. But I don't really think it's worth it because. I don't really care about the money, and I don't really care about the um, the remove of the wanted level. I care more for moral reasons, moral grounds. And Derek, Derek is a pretty crappy person as well. They're both crappy people. But um, in the end, I decided on Francis just because at least Derek is admits to who he is, and Francis is on the other hand is um, uh, you know pretends like he's a good person, but in reality, he's a pretty terrible person. And the thing about it is, oh, Packy. Now let's see. There's one last cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' group. It's at the church in something today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in church. <laughs> but, um, uh, we're gonna be going to the funeral now, and we actually gotta put on a suit, too, so you have to actually dress nicely when you go to the suit. Oh, Kate. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family accept him and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about it? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. Change into a suit for the funeral or go to Perseus and buy a smart outfit. So let's, let's go change into a suit right now. So here we go, we got our suit in the game and in real life. And what I was saying earlier, is that I don't necessarily like Derek either. Um, I think Derek's a pretty terrible person as well, but, you know, my final decision came down to it that Francis, um, uh, Francis seems like more of a dangerous person. Derek did bad things in the past, but it doesn't seem like he's gonna be committing crimes anymore. On the other hand, it looks like Francis is somebody that could be committing crimes until the end of their life, basically. Um, and, you know, Francis, imagine if somebody like Francis becomes commissioner of police, how much damage could they do? So that, you know, that and the fact that he threatened Nico also, that's, you know, what finally made my decision to kill Francis. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man. And a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith. And that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. Francis was a good boy. Uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god! Get the hell out of the way! So here we go. Um. It says Albanian hoods. Now, um, who are these guys that are shooting up the funeral? If you guys, um, if you guys remember when you did Jerry's missions, um, uh, Jerry had, Jerry had Nico start a, a gang war between the, um, the, the Ancelotti family and the Albanian gangsters. And so they figured out that it was Gerald who did it, and now they're trying to shoot up, um, uh, Francis' funeral. Another car, it's like a whole damn army! Take your last Enjoying yourself! I don't recognize 
reckon they could throw much more at us. I think we got them. Make a run for the cars. Nico, get behind the wheel of that Romero. You know, my, me and my, brother are getting out of here. my question is, where was Derek during that shootout? Why wasn't he helping? Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Drive Packy in the hearse to the cemetery. Oh, great. There's a whole lot of air where the back door should be, Nico. Go easy on her or my brother will fall out. We can't crash, or the um, the coffin can actually fall out. If you actually kill um, uh, if you kill Derek, you actually take him to the cemetery in um, in Dukes. I think we finally lost him. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. And there's one final thing that I forgot to add here. Um, Gerald got arrested, so Gerald has you been, um, uh, you know, attending his trial, I guess, and is gonna be sent to prison. Um, somebody read it out, Gerald. We don't know exactly who that was. Um, it could possibly be Derek. I'll probably have a video on that, but if it was Derek, I probably would have killed Derek if Derek was the one who read it out, um, Jerry. But we don't know 100%, so like I said... It's okay, this is it. We can put him in the ground now. It's a difficult decision to decide on whether to kill Derek or, um, or Francis. I like how Derek didn't show up for this. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. And um, I'm gonna say one other thing also because I know a lot of people in the comments are probably gonna say this. They're probably gonna say that Nico actually killed Derek in the canon um, uh, version. We don't know if Nico was the one who killed Derek. And the reason that some people think that is because in GTA 5, if you bring Packy along for the Polito Bay heist, he will actually say that Derek is dead. But the thing about it is that people say, oh, that's proof that Nico killed Derek. That's not proof, because Packy didn't specify how Derek died exactly. Um, Derek was a known heroin user, and, you know, Derek was in his mid-50s. So, um, Derek could have died of a heroin overdose in between GTA 4 and GTA 5, so we don't know exactly how Derek died. So just because Derek died between GTA 4 and GTA 5 doesn't mean that Nico necessarily killed him. We don't know. Oh, we got a phone call from Bernie. This is the phone call we didn't get last time. What's up, Bernie? I wanted to give you something to say thank you for me and Bryce. Well, he doesn't know I'm giving you this, but he gave it to me, so it's technically from him. What is it? This car. Enjoy! I only power walk or take cabs, so I figured I should pass this on to my savior. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Don't mention it. What we've got is worth more than money. Okay, so now we can actually go and pick up, um, uh, Bryce Dawkins' car. So, in the, in the, um... Stop! So, two parts ago, basically, what, what, um, uh, what happened... Let's call a cab for Roman. Uh, we helped, um, uh, we helped Bernie or Florian Kravich out. 
And um, Roman, he... my cousin. I'd re Wait right there, MB. I'm the we helped him, Florian Kravitz, Bernie Crane out, and uh, in exchange, um, he gave Nico his um, uh, his boyfriend's car. So let's let's go and pick up that car right now. Get in quickly, you head. I hope you enjoyed your free ride. I certainly did not enjoy the driving of you. <laughs> Mohammed, he's so funny. So this is gonna be Bryce Dawkins' car right now. Unknown caller, who is this? Nico, Gerald McCreary here, calling from the Alden Estate Correctional Facility. Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. You come down. So we can now go see Jerry in prison. And this is Bryce Dawkins' car right here. Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. So, of course, um, politician is going to be driving a car like this, of course. So as you guys see, I changed the color on the car. He's got to take it to the pay and spray. Let's go on a date with Kate. I wonder what she thinks of this car. How you doing, Kate? So, listen, you want to hang out at all? I was wondering what exactly had happened to you. Come pick me up. I'm free now. Okay. So the girlfriends in this game have a very different reaction to cars, and um, I, I'm curious what um, I'm curious what Kate's reaction to this car will be. So let's go pick her up right now. I'm really curious what Kate's gonna think of this car. Hey you! How you doing? Come on, let's go! <laughs> this car is an improvement. This Interesting choice on the top. The pants, they're a bit weird. I'm not really feeling the shoes. This car is an improvement? <laughs> yeah. So let's play some darts right here. Sorry, I'm late for my job. Me. I don't think we got on darts with her. Excellent. I haven't played in ages. You were always good at aiming. You should give up the contract killing and take up darts. You should give up the contract killing and take up darts. You're pretty good at this. You're wanting the sex with me? Okay. How are we gonna do this now? Okay. Be kind, Nico. Okay, and now you won. We did it. Please don't be a pig. Where are your manners? You should not do that. You were lucky. What have you been up to? Actually, I don't think I want to know. I'm sure it made you feel big and strong. Not really. Lord above, you don't even enjoy it. Then why do it? Can you do me a favor and stop preaching? I'm fine. I am what I am. For better or worse. Fair enough. A lifetime of trying to sort my brothers out has left me a little sanctimonious. Forgive me. I'm sorry if this is a weird question. What was the war like? It was great. You got to see people turn into animals, and your close friends die. Sorry, I knew it was a dumb question. It, it's just I hoped it wasn't so awful for you. No. It was seeing your home destroyed. Seeing members of your family die. My aunt, Roman's mother, she was... 
She was... She was raped and murdered. I found her. Roman does not know. He thought she died in a house fire. I'm so sorry. The world is hard. What are you going to do? Maybe you're right. The war taught me a lot of bad things. But it also taught me to enjoy life. I like that. So you heard it right there, and um, that's that's why I go on these dates with Kate, because Kate is... Um, Bye. Call me. Kate's one of the few people that Nico will open up to and talk about his past, and... Um, and Kate, you know, like I said previously, you know, she's like one of the few innocent characters in GTA. She's not involved in crime whatsoever, and I guess that's probably why Nico likes her. And, uh, and so that was one of the things that you learn uh, dating Kate um, that you wouldn't learn from the main story. So Nico, when he fought in the Bosnian War, because Nico is Serbian, um, he found Roman's mother raped and murdered. And, and um, he lied about how she really died. He told Roman that she died in a house fire just so Roman wouldn't know the ugly truth of it. But um, that's, you know, one thing that Nico told Kate about. But there's other things that he'll actually tell her about. And so I'm going to try my best to go on every single date that I can with her. But I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.